My name is Kusak Moteki. Nice to meet you. Let me talk about an objective analysis for five minutes from a little bit different perspective. I'd like to advertise new reanalysis data set produced by Jamstack. We are calling it RR. This is produced by using an ensemble common filter simulation technique so that we get a very interesting and useful product. This product is mainly developed by the two genius guys here. The assimilated observations are obtained from Yuka GTS archive and known daily SST. These are the same as the other reanalysis products. It has a resolution of T119 with 48 levels, with the, which is ordinary, and 63 ensemble members. That is calculated by the AGCM on the assimilator, which is the fastest supercomputer for meteorological calculations. We adopt the local ensemble transform carbon filters assimilation system. This is the point of this product. LETKF is able to estimate the flow dependent analysis error distribution. That is, we do 63 member ensemble forecast to do the objective analysis, and we get 63 member ensemble analysis. Here we get the spread of 63 member analysis values, and which should be a reference of the error. Of course, it is going to change due to the observation number and the dynamic situation. That is the flow dependent analysis error. And what we will do is the objective variation of the value of the observation data set that we will get. The objective variation of the value. How do we do that? Let me show you an example from the MISMA project in 2006. This is the analysis ensemble spread of zone of wind speed at 850 hectopascal. The white color means small error and the blue means large error. We can easily find that errors over the land are very small because of a lot of soundings, but large over the ocean. If we did not use the radio sounds added by MISMO, in other words, we did not conduct MISMO project, we could have huge errors even in the best estimated real analysis over the Indian Ocean like this. And, but we did it. And we get the great improvement like this. It's very remarkable, isn't it? So we have one question. So now we have one question. How did the impact of our observation expand? Of course, we can take the difference between two data sets with and without the assimilation of the MISMO, and we get the improved area of unbelievably beautiful Matsuno gear pattern. It is more than 20,000 kilometers wide because Kelvin and Rossby waves transported the observation information to the east and west. So we like to do such a variation, of, a variation for Shinri and Dynamo 2. And the main target to be assimilated is radio sound data. We expect that much more observation date number will give us much more improvement. That will be the objective of variation of the value. And the product easily showing the evidence is error. Of course, you can get really from this address through the Google's opened up server. So please try to see the analysis and sample spread that it's really interesting. It should contribute to various aspects of research before, during, and after the campaign. So if you have an interest, please contact me. So thank and you, that's all.